Hey guys, this is Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about budgeting tips that will help you win with money. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 2019 goals. So things that I'm working on financially for 2019 and then also things that I'm wanting to work on for my business for 2019. Last year, I was more into writing my blog, and I still do have a blog, I just am, have not been as consistent on it, but I did a blog post last year talking about the goals that I had for 2018, and it was really fun to look back at it now and see just how far we've come. So I thought that it would be fun to sit down and do a video and share our goals for 2019, and so I hope that by next December I can look back and hopefully these things will have come into fruition. So before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family, and I'm super excited for everything that we have coming up in 2019. So make sure that you are subscribed and turn on those bell notifications so you won't miss when I post a new video. Okay, so all about our goals. I love goal setting. I love having like something that I'm working towards and I can like track my progress. I love setting goals. I recently did a video about goal setting, which I will go ahead and leave a link to up above, but I try to make smart goals. So these are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. So this is the method that I like to use when I'm setting goals for myself personally, for finances or for business. So these are my SMART goals that I have for 2019. So first, let's talk financial goals. So Jacob and I have a few goals that we're working on for 2019. I also recently did a video sharing our 2019 annual budget, um, which I'll go ahead and leave a link to up above. But there I kind of have shared a little bit about our goals because we are using our finances to achieve those goals that we have in our lives. Um, so the financial goals and the life goals that we're working on for 2019, the big one is buying a house. Jacob and I would love to have bought a house by the end of 2019. We are currently living in a two bedroom apartment and we really do love our apartment, but we ideally want to be in a house. And so we just renewed our lease for this apartment in November. So our lease is up October 31st of 2019. So my hope is that by then we'll be able to purchase a house and that would be a huge goal so you guys will see that in all of our budget report videos that's something that we've been working on right now is saving for a down payment on a house so that is our like big financial goal that we've been working on and that we plan to continue to work on in 2019 the next life and financial goal that we have is to be able to purchase another new to us car in 2019. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you have probably seen that Jacob and I just purchased a new to us car, which is so exciting. And I'll probably do another video going into more depth of this. But Jacob and I just purchased a 2013 Toyota Corolla and we actually sold his Toyota Tacoma to make it happen. And so we were able to purchase a new car for Jacob and it is like insane to us that we have a car that's from this century and decade. Um, but we are so thankful for that. But we also know that my 98 Camry will probably also need to be replaced here soon. So we're hoping that in 2019, we will be able to purchase a new to us car. We don't need anything too fancy. Right now we have $3,000 in a car fund. My car is also worth about $1,500 right now. So ideally we'd love to be able to sell my car and then have about $4,500 to purchase something that's a little bit newer for us. The next goal that we have is to put 12% of our income into retirement. So for you Dave Ramsey followers, you know that saving for retirement is baby step four and Dave says to save 15% into retirement. And he says to do this after saving for the down payment on your house. That's kind of like baby step 3B. So we are working on saving for a down payment on a house, but while we've been doing this, we've also been contributing to retirement. We've been putting about 11%, I think-ish, into retirement and we wanna be able to to increase that into 2019. So we are still saving for retirement while we are saving for a down payment on a house. And that is just us personally. Um, that is just something that we wanted to make sure that we were doing early on. So we have been saving for retirement earlier. But in 2019, we definitely wanna be able to continue to increase our retirement contributions. The next goal that I have isn't technically like a full SMART goal, but this is something that we definitely want to work on more in 2019, is saving more money in our sinking funds. So a sinking fund is something that you save for every single month. If you know that you have a cost coming up, so you take the total 
cost that you plan to spend and you divide it by how many months you have until you know you'll have to spend it. And you save that money every single month in a savings account and let it just continue to grow. And then when it comes time for you to make that purchase or spend that money, you have it already set aside. So this is what we're doing for our house payment. And technically we aren't dividing it up and saving a certain amount each month. That for us has been our financial goal. So whatever penny we can you know, find from one category that we didn't spend on, we add it to our house funds. So that's just kind of been our big goal at the end that we're working towards. But there are other sinking fund items that we do want to keep saving for every month. One of them being vacation. We definitely wanna make sure that we're still enjoying our lives and putting more money into travel. So we do have a vacation sinking fund and we plan to put about $200 a month into that right now. Also, we have a extra giving fund and I've talked about this here on my channel, but we put $50 a month into an extra giving fund and this just allows us to say yes to giving opportunities if they come up and it doesn't affect the rest of our budget. So it makes it really easy to give and say yes to things when when we see them come up. Another sinking fund item that we are starting in 2019 is a car maintenance fund. So we had a lot of rough car maintenance expenses come up in December, and you guys will be seeing that soon in my December budget report. But it really got us thinking we should actually make a sinking fund for this. It was something that we were able to cash flow for December, but it just didn't feel good. And there are always gonna be things like routine oil changes or things like that that we'll need to keep up on with our cars. Especially now that we are getting newer cars, we wanna be able to really take good care of them. So we are going to be putting $50 a month into a car maintenance fund. We also are continuing to save for Christmas, and this is super tiny, but we are planning to put $20 a month into a Christmas sinking fund. We honestly don't spend a lot on Christmas. I don't believe in spending money for just the sake of spending money, but we do spend some sort of money on Christmas. So we wanna have the money just easily set aside so it's not gonna be any sort of burden come December. So we're just saving $20 a month, and that will be good to get us to Christmas. Also, ideally, if we're able to buy a house in the fall of 2019, we then want to be saving money for house repairs. And I know that is so important and that's definitely going to be something that we include in our budget once we have a house, is saving money in a sinking fund for any house maintenance or repairs that we know will be coming up. Because something always seems to come up when you're a homeowner. And then we'll want to beef up our emergency fund. So we plan to save more money in our emergency fund once we do have a house because our cost of living is going to go up a little bit of having a monthly mortgage rather than the rent that we have in our apartment. So right now we have $10,000 in our emergency fund, but we definitely do want to increase that once we are homeowners. So this isn't a huge goal for us right now just because we plan to buy in very late 2019. So I'm holding that goal a little bit more loosely, but it definitely would be ideal. All right, now to move into business goals. This year for 2018 has been such an amazing year for my business. I had no idea that I would love doing YouTube this much or that I'd be able to see it grow as much as I have, but I have so enjoyed it and loved it. And it's actually been something that I've made money off of. I remember just like a year and a half ago when I was like, oh, it'd be great if I could like make money by, you know, sharing personal finance things or like using my blog and all this. Like that'd be great, but like I'm not sure how. Um, 2018 has been fantastic and I've had a few months where I've made over a thousand dollars a month from everything that I'm doing here and it has been so much fun. So I'm hoping to continue that into 2019. So I do have a few business goals and I won't share like too much about that, but I did want to hit on that for you guys if you are at all interested in growing your own business or a side hustle. So these are my goals for my business, The Budgeting Wife, for 2019. I would like to end the year with 25,000 subscribers here on YouTube. As I'm currently filming this video, I have 6,600 subscribers, so I'm very close to 7,000. So I think that 25,000 is doable for next year, so I'm hoping to reach that limit by December of 2019. My next goal with my business is for Instagram. Instagram is another platform that I love and I use. Right now I'm over, just a little bit over 11,000 followers on Instagram. If you aren't following me there, you can go ahead and follow me at The Budgeting Wife on Instagram. But I love using Instagram and my goal for end of next year for Instagram is to have 30,000 followers by December 31st on Instagram. 
And now to talk the financial part of my business. My goal is to make $20,000 in revenue from all income streams of my business. So the way that I make money for my business and let me know if you guys are interested in this and I can totally do another video going more in depth of how I make money for my business online. But I make money through my Etsy shop. I sell budget templates that many of you guys have purchased and I'm so grateful for. So I have my Etsy shop. I'm also going to be launching a course here soon, which stay tuned. I'm super excited about. And then I also get money from YouTube ads. I get money from affiliates, which is basically like someone uses a link that I have and makes a purchase or signs up for something thing and then I get a commission and then you also make money with sponsorships so you can have someone sponsor a video or a blog post and pay you for doing that as well as I've been also doing some freelance work which has been a lot of fun I'm hoping to continue that so with all of those income streams I plan to make $20,000 in revenue so that's my lofty goal for this year is to make 20,000 and so that is before I have any other business expenses or taxes or anything like that so that's just my gross revenue that I hope to make in 2019 so those are kind of all of our main goals that we have for 2019 um, the biggest one of course being the house we are really hoping that by 2019 we can move into a house um, we are super excited about that and I'm really hoping for continued growth with my business Business. So thank you guys so much for being here and being a supporter of my channel. I am so grateful. It's been such an amazing year of getting to, you know, hang out with you guys and have the opportunity to make video content, helping people just figure out their budget and money tips. And so I've been so grateful for that. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and following along with us in our journey. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is one goal that you have for 2019 be that life financial or business related i want to hear about it leave me a comment down below and with that i will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye guys